Hi, it's me again, and I've got a story for you today. Fair Do's is a couple of weeks old. I forgot to do it, I just found it in my to-do pile. And um, I wouldn't normally go back on an old one, but I quite like the guy, and he's been saying something that I've been saying for a while. So let's take a look at this story together, and I can say I was right, basically. Jeremy Clarkson's bitter swipe at BBC over TV schedule and forced to pay. The former Top Gear host had no problem giving his opinion on what's going wrong at the BBC. The Beeb has been blasted today for inconsistent figures and downplaying the impact of the licence fee rebellion. Mr Clarkson, a BBC employee until 2015, weighed in with his views on the broadcaster. In a piece to The Sun last year, he urged Director General Tim Davey to start addressing the real problem with the BBC. He argued the problem is the fact that everyone under the age of 200 is forced to pay for something they hardly ever watch. Alright, Clarkson might be a bit bitter about leaving the BBC at first, but I think he's well over that now and he's making a damn sight more money and got a much better life, so I don't think he's that bitter. I think these are now his genuine thoughts that he couldn't say at the BBC and, you know, it's just another person coming out against the licence fee, but he also makes another point that I've been saying for a while. He added, oh sure, they've tried to make it youth-friendly by putting stuff on apps and speaking street, but what's the point of being down with the kids when the entire audience is sitting in a Shackleton's wing back, <laughs> wondering whether Werther's originals tasted better in the war? To save money and reduce the cost of the licence fee, Mr Clarkson proposed a number of options. He suggested sell radios 1, 2, 3 and 5 immediately, that'll bring in a chunk of change, and then save a fortune by closing down all local radio. Yeah, I never did like my local BBC station, but the problem is the uh, the local commercial stations have all kind of melded into one big corporate thing, so you're not going to get much local stuff going on them anymore. Oh, yes, yeah, so I don't know about the local radio one there, Clarkson. A lot of people do enjoy a bit of local radio, and it's good for driving. Or does everyone just get traffic updates on Google Maps in their car now? I guess they probably do, don't they? He continued, next, I'd completely abandon scheduled television which is what I think too, let's read on. Mr Clarkson asks why the Beeb pays to produce programmes that go out at 3 o'clock on a Wednesday afternoon and then 4 o'clock on a Sunday morning. Now, alright, he works for a streaming service, so, you know, scheduled television is the enemy of the streaming service, obviously, I get that. But once you've switched to streaming everything, like being licence free, you do have to stream everything, you wonder why you ever waited till 8 o'clock on a Thursday night or whatever, to watch your favourite shows, it's ridiculous when a couple of clicks and you can watch your favourite show as and when you want on any device you want. Scheduled television is dead, it's dead. I'm surprised it's still available now. Well, no, it's probably because broadband in the UK is still a bit patchy, isn't it, I suppose. He argued that television habits have changed. Nobody watches TV like that anymore. We decide what we'd like to see and then we stab away on our 43 different remotes until we find it, yep. I actually spend more time trying to find things to watch than watching them now because I have so many streaming services that we have to have. And I'm just forever adding stuff to the list and then never getting around to it and finding more stuff and adding that to the list. Madness. Instead, I'd merge all the Beeb television channels with Channel 4 and make only high quality shows which are put straight onto the surprisingly good and clever iPlayer. He used to slag iPlayer off when he was on Top Gear. The BBC would then become the UK's equivalent of Amazon and Netflix. Yeah, and it would, and it would be brilliant. It would be better, and they could make more money. And you could choose if you wanted to subscribe to it or not. Mr Clarkson said we would be more willing to pay the licence fee if it was significantly less than it is currently. And without afternoon TV and all that radio nonsense, it would be. Nah, see, you, you're doing all right. You're doing all right, Jeremy, and then you've, you've gone and messed that up, haven't you? Still got some friends at the BBC, obviously. So what do you think? He's made some fair points there that many of us have been saying. I've been saying it, and you lot have been saying it down in the comments as well. So, you know, people are coming around to it, and big names are, are coming around to it. And the more big names mention it, the more it reaches people who haven't even thought about it before. And then they come and join us in the conversation, cancel their license fee, and the movement gets even bigger still. It's brilliant. So I love to see, love to see articles like this. I like reading articles like this. And I like bringing you articles like this, because... Gives me a reason to talk to you all in the comments and get some more emails from you. So uh, if you want to email me, details below, email me your questions or any stories that you find as well. And we can have a look at them and a chat about them. And uh, while you're doing that, I'll see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.